Corvo, if only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else, and the Spymaster was right to insist that I send you. All right, hello. How's it the going, everyone? Has taken so many Welcome to Dishonored. When you are near, my heart is at peace. Very excited to play this game. Emily Such and a I good will count game. the days until you return. Hurry home and bring good news. Indeed, I will. Well, funnily enough, I'm back right now. So, yeah, welcome to Dishonor. This game is such a good game. Such an iconic game. And uh, definitely recommend if you get the chance to play it. Definitely play it. Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. Lord Corvo has news for the Empress, and we've come a long way. We do indeed. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. Superstition. Don't know about a curse, for but... we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. We live in strange times. Sending the Empress's very bodyguard true. away for a couple of months. That's unusual. Well, yeah, for uh, everyone else to we need help with the get a plan. To uh, get rid of me, that's why. Such a good looking game though, still almost uh, 11, 12 years later? Yeah. The game came out in 2012, oh, so. We're going up. Sealed, ready. Actually, get a chance to climb this uh, section a bit later. I think in one of the later missions. I oh, know, we're here. I'm so happy. Well, actually not happy because it uh, all goes downhill from here, but... We wouldn't have a game though, otherwise. The Empress will be waiting for your news, Corvo. Cool, thank you. Alright, well, let's go. Obviously playing this on PC. It's been good traveling with you, Corvo. Yeah, thank you, Jeff. Have you ever met my niece, Callista? He's getting more beautiful every well, I think year. we do meet Callista. Yes, yes. I'm gonna say Fresh the one thing I loved about this game was the uh, like interactive interactivity. If that's the right word, is that you can do stuff like that, which is uh <laughs> so cool. I found that so amazing as a kid. Oh, and that'll be up there. I think. Oh, hey, it's. Uh, oh my god, I've forgotten your name. Can you tell me about your trip, please? Were there any whales? There are a few. Seek first. I'll cover my eyes and you hide. Do you have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy man. Oh, conspiring against me. Okay, here we go. I think this is more of the tutorial to learn how Emily, that's it, but yeah. You were gone, it's how to learn how to hide. Sad. I think she missed you. Well, I think the irony of it is was <laughs> that Emily's my daughter, I think. Obviously, like, I think Corvo and, uh, the Empress had a... Let's see if you're still good at this. I'll hide my fair. eyes and count, and at the end of the countdown, I'll try and find you. Sounds okay, good. Okay, I'm going to count to ten. Find a place to hide. <laughs> yeah, right, I'll go. Okay, that's obviously how to do stealth mode. Alright, um, actually, ironically, I think... Oh, I don't know where was a good spot to hide. Alright, we'll hide up here. But yeah, I think uh, she's obviously Corvo's daughter. Hopefully, she doesn't spot me straight away. <laughs> okay, well, somewhere else then. Yeah, I think if you hide really well, you end up. She just goes, "Can you come out?" I should Nothing. be careful. Nope. Obviously, playing on PC, I can't do like the full, like half turn around a corner. Okay, you win. We should go now, so mother can see you too. Uh. Yeah. Fair enough. You didn't really look too hard though, did you? Mm, take me with you on a trip one day, please. Sure, that sounds good. But anyway, I think uh, by the time you watch this, I'm recording this on the 1st of December of 2023. This should go up, I want to say, probably early January. So, Happy New Year, I guess, by the time this goes up. Welcome home, Lord Protector. Hey. Whatever your name Stop was. Moving, Campbell. Campbell. You, that's it. Corvo, welcome back. From wherever you've been. 
They sent him all around the Isle to beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. I hate that name. I'm not so sure that painting looks like Campbell. Nah. <laughs> Mother told me that your trip was important. She's been worried. I'm sure she has. We'll see you at once. Last night? Indeed, I believe so. Right. I actually don't remember if we meet Jeff again. I'll be happy you're back with the watch. I'm no diplomat. <clears throat> but yeah, his. Oh, actually, no, we do because his niece or nephew <clears throat> is um, Callista, and we meet Callista a bit Strange. later. We saw whales off Whitecliff. All right, here we go. Let's. They're sick people, not criminals. We've gone beyond this guy's a that criminal. question, Your Majesty. They're... They're my citizens, and we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. As you wish, Your Majesty. Did this rat walk past. I know what you're up to, buddy. Corvo. Two days early. Oh no. Full of surprises, as usual. So obviously I wasn't supposed to be here. <laughs> Quite evidently. Hey, Emperor. It's a Empress. fair wind that brings you home to me. What news Follow have you me, brought? Captain. We should leave them alone. Oh god. Really setting me up for failure here. Uh, sad news, unfortunately. I'm, I'm looking over there for. The cities had dealt with this before, knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're at the breaking point. Yeah, we are indeed. Cowards! They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, mother? Traitors. <laughs> you seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Who sent them away? Mother, look. Yeah. What are they doing on the rooftop? rooftop. What? Oh Emily, no. Oh no, well lucky I'm here. Okay, we've got a gun we can use. Oh, no, wrong, wrong button for the gun. Ooh. So left control to block incoming attacks. What a weird button. Emily, Take this. Oh my god, I was expecting you to die from that. Oh my god, there's quite a few of you. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I think uh, I really should be using my left button to block. Orvo. Thank you. Not left control. You hadn't been here. No more. Oh Not no. Mommy. I literally can't do Mommy. much here. Oh no, doubt. Oh no. Well, obviously I knew this was gonna happen. And they take it. Come here, Dowd. Absolute rat. Corvo. It's all coming apart. Fine. Find Emily. Protect her. You're the only one who'll know what to do. Won't you? I will. Corvo. I'll fulfill your dying wish. Ward us all. Look at what he's done. Oh, I haven't yes, done anything. He's killed the Empress. What did you do with young lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you oh, there's no irony spot. here. Peg him. Oh, man, knock me out. Oh, and there we go. This is dishonored. Oh, <laughs> as the title of the game is, I've just been dishonored. So, but the sweet irony of that is, is I've now been freed to do whatever I want. I don't know if I just said a few months later then. The final chance, Cole. Sign the confession and let me give you the rights to put your spirit at ease. I'm not signing anything. I didn't do anything. That's enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. It's funny, I get to kill every person in this room at some point. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away and no one will ever know the truth. Yes, slimy I'm bastards. Tomorrow you'll be executed, but it's for a good cause. This country needs strong leadership now, someone to guide the weak, and that's where we come in. Yeah, you slimy bastards. In this, even though you almost sank our plans, but it turned out well. 
you were in the wrong place. Yeah, it turned out well for you guys. And someone has to take the fall. Goodbye, Corvo. God! Take him back to his cell. God, this is uh also frustrating. It's like I didn't do anything wrong. I love this game as a kid though when it came out. Eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. Oh, I got friends in high places. Let's have a look. What do we got? got some bread and an, an, an anonymous message. So, Corvo, who we are is irrelevant right now. Just know that we have faith in you. Here is the key to your cell. Uh, once you're out, head for the prison's interrogation room. Take the explosives there and plant it on the outer door. When the bomb goes off, make a run for it. Uh, make for the river and lose yourself in the sewers. You'll find some useful gear stashed there. One of the guards will leave a weapon just outside your cell. And good luck. We need you alive and well for what's to come, my friend. Perfect. So, I guess before we... Well, as we move out, I can play this game... I should take this cash. And I don't know if I can let these guys out at all. Hey, buddy. I shouldn't be here. Now I'm gonna die for nothing. And I feel that. Burn this place to the ground. I will. Right. Yes, here we go. So you can do by pressing obviously the left mouse button to kill them, or left control to social event for the you know, high and mighty noble chuck them out. As bad as us betting on the dog fights. You guys are dodgy, but yeah. So I can. Uh, Ooh, I can do a drop assassination as well, nice. So I'm not gonna... I'm gonna try and play this game non-lethal. Non I think that's more fun to, to do. And obviously the thing is as well, is these guards aren't bad guards, they're just doing their job. Um, the only thing is... Is I don't know how to get past these guards without uh, them seeing me. And obviously the difficulty I've got is I don't exactly have the powers just yet. I'm not gonna kill the guards. Yeah, I think uh, it definitely is a lot more fun to try and take these guys out quietly. I don't want to stab him. I want to. There we go. Let's knock him out. Let's hold him. Let's uh, put him here nicely. Oh no, that's not good. Yeah, it's really hard because like right here, I'd have the option of like um, teleporting up there. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna see me. This isn't good. Well, hopefully, if I can hide in the shadows. Yeah, he hasn't seen me. Alright, hopefully I can get up to him before he turns around, and yeah, perfect. Let's hold you. Let's hide you over here. Yeah, I think when I played this game as a kid, oh, there we go, we can lean around corners as well. Which I think we did uh, with Emily, so. But yeah, like, as I was saying, when I played this with, uh... oh, we've got some health elixir, nice. Oh, I just realised, because I'm playing on PC, I might not have the, the wheel... I don't want to shoot this gun though. <laughs> That's why I just have to be careful. I know you do get the crossbow at some point, so this is the far better, far better gun. But yeah, as I was saying, I uh, played this game very aggressively the first time I played it as a as a kid, and I think this game does that really well. Is if you play really aggressively, it ends up. Well, it's not really a good thing to be honest, because you end up. Um, how did this guy not see me knocking any of these people out? But yeah, there's like an effect on this game depending on how it goes. So, like, if you kill a lot of people, it ends up meaning that there's a lot more rats, like, around. And uh, and I think you actually end up getting more points as well. Like, you get a better rating for, you know, beating this game without killing anybody and being, like, a ghost. And it just makes the game easier as well when you finish it. Because you can almost just walk into the capital and, like, kill all these guys off really easily at the end. Now, I think you can knock them out, but if they find the bodies you do get a slightly worse rating. I think we're clear. I don't really need my weapons out, do I? There's like, yeah, there's different tiers. So if you just kill everybody, oh, we're back here. Yes, yeah, so obviously if you kill everyone, you get like a really bad rating. Well, you know, not really a bad rating. It's just a different type of, um, get a different rating. When he wakes, we'll start again. Having him sign the confession for her murder isn't critical, but it might be useful to us later. The you could just forge the. Is not a trivial matter. Forge my signature. 
So Corvo Atano, formerly known as the Royal Protector, uh, will be brought in for interrogation. This is of utmost importance. The Lord Regent and High Overseer Campbell will conduct questioning themselves, follow their orders without hesitation, and keep the torturer under control. If Corvo dies in his hands instead of getting public, the public execution, uh, it'll be your head that rolls next. So yeah, they all really want this to play out in a particular way. I think the bomb is in here. Yeah, perfect. That's how we'll make our escape. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, my bad. I thought he was coming in here, but apparently not. I just want to watch where they end up going because I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to let them see me. Could probably dodge them completely, to be honest. I don't really need them to, or to take them out. I think I've made that mistake a few times where I've tried to take them out and they end up seeing me. Yeah, but everything has to be set up today. I can't wait to see his head roll. Not everyone did, but I really like the Empress. God, the guys are absolute dogs for wanting to take me out. Attention. There's nothing to you guys. Oh, I'm back here. I've just done a full circle. Yeah, I might be able to get into here and uh. Take this guy out. Hopefully he doesn't see me as I crawl in. Yeah, perfect. Just like nice and easy. Oh no, that's not good. Oh no. Oh no, that's not good. Alright. That's a shame. Wasn't really wanting them to see me, but Oh no, it's in here. Bugger. Oops, I did not mean to kill you there. So you've knocked them off balance, and now you can perform a lethal counter attack. Thing is, I don't want to perform a lethal counter attack. Okay, let's. Okay, I need you guys just to leave me alone. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna have to shoot these guys, unfortunately. As much as I don't want to. Oh. This is such a pity. You know, I think every time that I've played this game, I think I've unfortunately ended up killing a bunch of them. If something like that happens. And you know what's just occurred to me? Is I might have been able to climb over that without them seeing me. Because of that, I'm just going back to another save. Because, uh, like I said, I don't want to kill them. Oh no, please don't see me. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Yeah, so this is what I was saying is there's like different ways you can go. And they did such an amazing job with this game. Like for this exact thing. Like if... I didn't even look, you know, I knew that I could climb up here, but there's always multiple ways for you to go and to get around and to do stuff. I think I've just gone the wrong way, but yeah, you can literally go this way as well. So it's always worth having a look to see which way you can and can't go in this game. Because I think that's the mistake people make is they are, uh, you assume you can only go one way. And as a result, you end up uh, killing people by accident. Or just like completely unnecessarily. Let's plant this. And uh, ooh, I need to get out of the way before that explodes. Now they are going to run after me real quick here. And I just need to run. Oh no, jump. <laughs> they do end up shooting you from up here. Or from over here anyway. I said to get into the sewers. Yeah, I think you guys will. Which is good for me. Alright, perfect. That was uh, very easy. Let's get out of here. I got no reason to stay <laughs> at all. The rats play a big part as well. There's a note here. What does this note say? So, Corvo, if you're reading this, it means our plan work and you've broken free. One of our contacts is hidden weapons deeper in the sewers. Grab the gear and find Samuel. Uh, when you're out of the tunnels at the river, he'll bring you to us. Friend who will meet you soon. Watch for booby traps. Could be some down now, watch the rats as well. So the rats do such a like a really really helpful because uh, it means you don't have to kill anybody. And as well, I gotta say that's like the perfect example of how to do a tutorial in game because you've like been forced to like naturally climb up here and you watch it and you go, oh, the rats will eat them. But there wasn't like a tutorial thing that popped up telling you what to do there or how to do it. You just saw it happen, which was really cool. You cannot kill the rat plague. 
Oh, we're gonna be careful of the rats because they'll run around and try and attack me here. Whoa, let's get across. But yeah, as I was saying before, if you ever get the chance to play this game, please play it. I'm not gonna read this unfortunately, but definitely read the Oh, okay, these two people died together. You poor things. But yeah, if you ever get the chance to play this game, please play it. It is such a good game. Because, um, so well made. But a bit of a shame as well, because I don't think that Arcane, the guys that made this game, ever really made another game that was, like, this good after. Dishonored 2 was alright. Dishonored... Shadow, Shadow the Outsider? Oh, dead body. Guys are nuts. Alright, let's dump this body over here. We'll dump a few bodies off so we can get to the... Um, oh, here he goes. I was kind of hoping you guys were going to see me. Or not see me. But yeah, if you dump the bodies off, and then, that's what I was saying earlier, is you could see, um, you know, the rats were going to eat the bodies. Come on, little rats. Come eat these bodies. And you, like, naturally make the assumption that, you know, you can do that, which is pretty cool. Oh, perfect, let's go. <laughs> Away from the rats. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The assassin Corvo, responsible for the murder of our fair empress, and the disappearance of Lady Emily, heir to the throne, has temporarily escaped state custody. <laughs> I've been temporarily escaped. I've uh, permanently escaped, and I'm not coming back. No one will keep us from death. You not kill the rat plague. Well, I think you can kill the rats. You just gotta shoot them, you know? You need a lot of bullets. Now, watch this, because that little thing here, as soon as I trigger this, will shoot. Shoot a fire arrow, so you can, uh... Dodge that, and you can predict, or you can disarm it that way and get bullets from it. I think had I climbed over here, I would have been able to get an extra bullet from it. That's what I'm saying, is even like that, you know, that little trap just here. If I simply looked up and come up this way, I would have been able to get it. Oh, here, here you go, there's another trap, yep. If you can disarm it, you get an extra bullet, which is cool. Alright, here we go, here's our stuff here. To the Lord Protector, greetings Corvo, or should I say Lord Protector, as you had known before that title was wrongfully taken from you. We are servants of the Empire and the True Empress, a group of loyalists who want the very much to meet you. Take these weapons crafted for you from the finest materials in the Isles, and meet our man Samuel near the tunnels um, that spill into the Renhaven River. All haste and luck, we share a common purpose. And here we go, here's our iconic, uh, I guess, switchblade that we get. And uh, crossbow. <laughs> Such a cool, uh, like, blade. So, yeah. Oh, okay, here we go. So, it was a uh, middle mouse button to activate it. Now, I do want to keep the sleep darts, uh, at, like, as many as I can. Because they're so useful for just knocking people out at a distance. Okay, so we can slide while sprinting as well. Cool. To get under stuff like that. Grab you. So, Jelly, uh, in case you're not too daft to remember, look for the whiskey for the answer. Whiskey got it. If you want your share, you'll sort it out. If not, I'll come back for it next month. So, yeah, there's obviously a code that you can get for these safes as well. And the code is literally just here for this one. So, 451. But that was the easy one that I remember how to, how to access. And that should open up. You do get some cool stuff from it as well. The jewel box and some health elixir. Nice. There's quite a lot of uh, safes lying around. I don't remember the codes for all of them. I haven't actually played this game in such a long time either. You know who we're hunting here? Don't try to take them out alone. What if no one from the squad is around? Then try to make a lot of noise when you die. Knock something over if you can. Bastard. Well, I'm not going to kill you. I'm just going to knock you out quietly. I want to kind of save my poison darts. Like dead weeper in here. All right, let's uh, take you out. And as I was saying earlier, I, 
I really don't us. remember. He's not getting out this way on my watch. I think I will. Yeah, as I was saying before, I I, I don't remember. I don't remember how the grading system works. Like, like if you knock them out, but they don't see the bodies they're knocked out, you get like a ghost rating. But if you knock them out, and they see the bodies. You get like a you get like a, a slightly worse rating, or it's not a worse rating, but it's just a different rating. I'm just gonna knock him out with that. And I'm going to knock him out as well. And I think there was a third one as well along here, which I don't... I don't want to jump down just yet. And loot, because I know this one will walk around. Oh, no. He's going to die there. <laughs> I don't want him to drown in the water, which I don't think is a mechanic anyway, but... I just want to loot these guys of their money. But yeah, I kind of... I hope that I've explained it somewhat okay, that like there are different ratings... So like, if you be really lethal and you kill like everybody, you'll get like a high, high chaos rating. And this is what I, this is what I mean when I was saying that there's like, not necessarily a worse rating, but it's just a different type of rating. So here in Renhaven, I'll make my last home. It stinks of the void. Yeah, cool. Whatever that means. I don't think I've ever been in this room to be honest. I think you can just break through this, yeah, rather than jumping over. So yeah, so. Like the high chaos rating versus the low chaos rating, they're not necessarily, if you're like being incredibly chaotic, it's not a bad rating, it's just a different rating. And it just makes it more difficult for you in the long run because there's more guards, there's more rats, they're more alert, and then they end up having like more equipment to like deal with you because you're being so chaotic. Whereas if you be really quiet, yes, if you be really like not chaotic, you get a low chaos rating, but I think there's different degrees of low chaos as well. So if you knock a lot of people out, like I was saying, and you, a lot of people see those knocked out bodies, they know that you were there, so you get a slightly worse rating. Whereas if you be a ghost, hey Samuel, yeah, I'll come to you in a sec. But yeah, if you be like a complete ghost and like nobody sees you at all, that's like really good. So yeah. And I work for some good people who want very much to meet you. Well, they said you'd come out here. I could still hardly believe it. <laughs> I'll take you to meet them. Just down the river from here. Sure, let's go. It's not nice of me to call him an old man. It's a bit mean. Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about here. You get the ratings. So I killed one person, which I don't remember who I killed. Uh, that might have been the person that when he fell into the water... But yeah, civilians kills alarm wrong, dead or unconscious. So yeah, so overall chaos level, low. But I would have gotten an extra rating for didn't kill anyone and never detected. So yeah, that's, that's I guess, what I mean. And you can replay the mission, which is pretty cool. I missed out on about half a thousand dollars worth of coins as well. But that would have been down in some of the rooms that I didn't go to. But yeah, so I want to strive as much as I can for getting ghosts, like never detected, and didn't kill anybody as well. Because I think you get a better rating for it and all. But yeah, anyway, here's the Hounds Pit Pub. Samuel's pretty nice as well. He's a pretty good this guy. This is the Hound Pit's pub. Closed for business. Half the district marked off as dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose and he don't know a thing. <laughs> Indeed. So yeah, so as, as well... Course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. Yeah, looking for me. But yeah, so if you... Take and, you up to meet Admiral Havlock and the rest of the Warriors. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. Sounds good. Well, we're not necessarily going to try and clear my name, are we? Because we're just going to take over. I expect they're hard at work in there. Best join them. They'll help you get whoever really killed the Empress. Sure. I'm sure the Admiral is anxious to meet you. It wasn't easy getting you here. I can imagine. So yeah, as I was saying, if you have a really chaotic playstyle and you kill a lot of people, Samuel actually doesn't like you <laughs> towards the end of the game. He'll still drop you off for the final mission, but he'll end up like, you know, shooting up in the sky to sort of alert them of your presence which is not necessarily a good thing but 
And um, he kind of, I guess he doesn't like if you are being highly chaotic. He goes, well, I don't hate you as much, but you are still bad. Whereas if you don't kill anybody, he actually like sneaks you in nicely, which is I good. hang about if I were you. From what I understand, time's getting short. Sure. Let's go. So it's starting at last, Admiral. We found our man. Even after six months in Cold Ridge Prison, he slipped out like it was nothing. That's true. Yeah. We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, you're an ugly bug up. Admiral Havelock. Hey, Admiral a Havelock. true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with you. We've been building a coalition of loyalists aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At awesome. risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Thank Sorry. you. You must be. So I'm going to be the workhorse. We can discuss this further after you've recovered. But yeah. before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Awesome. Yes. Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him and then get some sleep. Sweet. We can talk more when you've rested. Cool. Thank you. Good to have you with us, Corbin. Nothing against the others, but there's no substitute for a man who's done his service for the crown. Absolutely. Uh, we'll go talk to Piero now. Piero is pretty good. He's a bit of an interesting, interesting person.